this video, I'm going to show you how to install the HP Z Turbo Drive in the HP ZBook G3 Studio Mobile Workstation. The, the ZBook G3 Mobile Workstation, there, there's not a lot of information out there about adding your own parts to, to this uh, workstation. So you want to make sure that you're buying HP parts. Um, I, I looked at several of the forums and also talked to HP support and they verified that, that this, this drive was going to work. So I found a source online that, that you could buy these uh, pretty cheap. I'm not sure if they, they're, it looks like they still had, had a few. I have to check it out. If they do, I'll leave a link in the description. If not, you can pretty much find these on eBay. They are basically the Samsung um, SM951. But again, you want to make sure that, that it's the, the HP OEM version. So let's, uh, let's take a look at, at what it's going to take to install this in, in the laptop. But before you get started and before you handle any of that equipment, you want to make sure that you're using your uh, a static wrist guard. That way you're not going to generate static electricity when you're, when you're touching the, the components. So we're going to install it in, uh, in this laptop and let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously you want to disconnect power. So you're going to want to take a torque screwdriver and you're going to want to take out these four screws first. So then this plate just slides, slides right off. What I would do is leave these screws attached and just set those aside. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to take this, this bottom plate out and let's go start at this screw right here. Disconnect the battery. So we just disconnected, disconnected the battery, and that's that's really all we need to do for for installing the drive. So you want to take the board, the Z Turbo drive. Okay, so now that we have the, the uh, Z-Book put back together, um, what you're gonna wanna do is pull up the computer management. You should automatically 
get the, the window to initialize the disk, we're going to put select yes. We'll go full screen with this. So now it's just basically just going to create the, uh, the simple volume. So this is basically, um, let's change it. So this was DNX HR. So if you found this video to be helpful, subscribe to the channel. It's brand new. Um, we're going to be talking about video production related content, 3D animation, compositing, and the tools that we use here at Pixel Lab Media. Mm -hmm.